Well, this is where the whole dairy industry meets, and it doesn't matter if you're milking 10 cows and you're processing your own milk or you're selling a little bit of cheese or yogurt, or if you're milking 50 or 100,000 cows, anywhere really in the world, you meet here. Um, my name is Jeanette Sheehan, and I am uh, a relatively new uh, on, on the uh, board of directors for the World Dairy Expo, and I sit on the executive committee as a board member. World Dairy Expo is a really, real special place for us. I'm a dairy farmer from Rochester, Minnesota, and so we were actually able to breed cows that we could bring to Expo here and compete. And in 2016, we actually were so honored and so uh, had such a magical moment winning the uh, International Holstein Show with our cow Thomas. My name is Elsie Gonzalez and I'm with Motiva Consulting. I've been here since 2010, every single expo. I work together with progressive dairy operations to help them build stronger dairy teams to get their guys to the next level so they can get the best of them, so they can bring their to their farms and, and meet the farm's goals and make their teams better. I'm Brian Banke. Uh, I live just south of Madison here, and I'm the business manager for St. Jacobs, which is a subsidiary of ABS. And then tonight, I am the MC for the closing ceremonies, and we'll have the distinct honor of presenting America's Supreme Champion. I was born in October of 1966. I'm 54 years old, and Expo started in, I believe, late September of 1967. So I was 11 months old when the first one happened, and I have been to every one since. As dairy farmers, we, we didn't really go to other places. This was kind of our vacation, and we loved spending the week here with, with people we love. To me, World Dairy Expo is the place where everybody connects. Uh, there's not many chances where you get this unique opportunity uh, of bringing different expertise in the industry, the best of the best. I, I mean it, it's like, this is so valuable, you have no idea. Like, this means so much, because, and, and I want to share this. Uh, there are not many resources in Spanish out there, and the majority of the guys that do the job, whereas they are managers or not, they speak Spanish, it's their main language. And they're here, and the fact that they can connect with other dairy professionals also that speak their language, learn from them and connect from each other, they, this is where I see the value of that. That's how we build stronger dairy teams. definitely an honor to be a part of the uh, naming of America's Supreme Champion. I always remember as a kid coming and just sitting on the edge of my seat, you know, kind of the hair standing up on my arms and the back of my neck waiting to hear who the Supreme Champion was going to be. And I'm honored to, to lend my voice uh, to be the voice of World Dairy Expo for the Supreme Ceremony. And finally, it is my honor to announce the 2021 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion. And she is the Holstein. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Shakira, Thorn Bacon, Heidi Holstein, Gerald, and Bill McCallum. We just wrapped up another successful World Dairy Expo, just like the 53 shows before it, because of industry leaders just like this. And now, as we get to look forward to next year's event for our 55th World Dairy Expo, I am pleased to unveil our next theme for World Dairy Expo 2022, Essential Elements.